Hey there, Hedrip here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft from the iCraft SMP. It's been a little while since our last episode from here or anywhere. Um, I believe as of yesterday, I think it was yesterday that I checked, it's been over a month since I, the last posting of a video, but that should be changing fairly soon because we have some some video content that I recorded with some of the guys coming out very soon so look forward to that I don't know if that'll have already gone up before this video has gone up or not but you can look forward to that because there should be more of that coming I don't know what I'm doing but we are here at the shopping district because we have been hired to do a little job over here at Ionco it is um, currently closed for renovations because we are going to renovate it a little bit she would like some doors put in right here and all the way over there it looks identical to over here so what we're gonna do today I don't know if in this episode I will finish both sets of doors but we will um, we'll be putting in probably at least this set of doors here if you guys remember at the beginning of the season there's a a door that you use like a key card that I designed for the zoo that we haven't used yet to be honest um, and that's what she wants so we're gonna put them in and I've I took a little bit of time yesterday to design it for this specific location and we're gonna actually hop into the world that I designed it in so that I can show you it and show you how it works well I dig out the area here for you guys for us to do the project so I will see you guys in the other world Welcome to my my little world that it literally just has it's called Ionco doors and all it is is just a big open void that just has uh, the Ionco doors. So th these are where our uh, current uh, doors are. They're going to be iron doors. As you can see, dirt is the key, but you don't see any dirt. So what's going to happen is we don't need that door. What we, we do need. Can I do that? I'm gonna leave that in there like that. So we're gonna take this dirt block. We're actually gonna use a, a different block. I, I haven't talked with her, but actually right here, I believe there's a tree here. So you're gonna say you wanna enter this door. You can't just open the door, but if you throw a dirt block in there, it'll open. And then the dirt block actually, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. We'll, <laughs> we'll split, spit out right there as you saw and also I don't, if you I don't know if you saw but that door acts independently from that door over there which is actually really nice and then this door also does the same thing so they are independent of each other which is really nice she didn't she said I didn't have to do that but that would be nice so I figured it out and I'm actually fairly happy with how compact I I, I made this I th I'm super happy with this design I was happy with the original design but uh, the, the fact that I could manage to get it in and within her plot that she has kind of designated herself it works fantastic so pretty much you throw the dirt down into that hopper it goes down and it filters through the dirt or the key and when when it allows one to drop through it goes in here that opens the door it uh, we use, yeah. we're using this as our door unlock so it's hitting that and then we're going it it's going into this which it in turn lights this uh, redstone torch and then turns on this pulse extender uh, it climbs up this track uh, and goes along this way 
goes up this torch tower and opens the door but then you also have this other line that comes out of here and powers that dropper and then also comes out of here and powers this dropper and uh, the, dro um, the dropper below it and I believe above it somehow not exactly I, I guess it's it's powering this block and powering up through there I believe and then that just pops up through the individual block so that is how it works we don't have any way of spitting out incorrect keys in this one I am afraid but we could, I guess we could technically um, bring these incorrect blocks into a double chest here or something. And if she wants that, we could, we could add that pretty easy, I believe. But I don't really know. I have, I didn't design that into the system. We can look into that later. So yeah, that is just that's how the door works. It looks complicated a little bit. And it somehow it got off symmetrical, even though it is symmetrical. But for whatever reason, this line is not symmetrical, and I don't know why. I I, I really don't know why. But yeah, let's um let's go in, and I'm go probably gonna do a time lapse on building this because uh, it's gonna take a little while. So, yeah, I will see you guys back in the iCraft world to, to build this. I hope you guys found that door interesting, and we're going to put it down in here, like I said prior. But first, we're going to plop um, a couple hoppers down out of this redstone chest I put together. As you saw, we don't need all of these materials, but we will need a decent amount of materials. Um, let's pick that up. Also, we have dug out, or I've dug out, uh, it's an 8 by 8 by 6 tall area. So that should work for us. Uh, boop. And now I believe, so that, that shows us exactly where everything's going to come down. That sh right there, that first uh, wood should be where all of our, our dropper chain goes up. And I think we are ready to do a third person time lapse. So let's bring head cam in and get that going.
Oh my god. That took forever. It took me about an hour because I was following the my schematic that I had on my other screen and somehow I kind of got lost. As you probably saw in the video, I had to like refigure it out, but it seems to be working now. Oh, well. Darn. Um, can I get my, into my end chest? <laughs> there we go. So, as you can see, nope. You just uh, throw a piece of dirt in there, door opens, it'll spit out another piece. Let's try that one more time out this other door. So, we'll throw another piece in, and it spits it out, and then you are in Ion Co. This will only affect these two doors right now. I have to do those other two, and I will probably do those off camera because this took me a while to refigure out. But yeah, they seem to be working just fine. Oh, I okay. You can pick up your dirt or key or pass or whatever she's gonna use. Um, but yeah from outside sometimes it all depends on where it's gonna get thrown I I couldn't really figure out a better way and it's hidden it's I think it this looks pretty good for what it is and you can still get out because pressure plates are there I'm waiting on this grass to regrow because oh, I, I, a little I made a mistake but we can, we can just quickly go back down there Come on, server. So yeah, this is our kind of spaghettiness of wiring. Probably not the, the best redstone, but I'm still pretty happy with it. I hear a creeper. But yeah, I think I I think for what it is, it it's a little. It looks messy, but. It works. That's all that matters. And then all she needs to do, and Allie can help her with this, is we need to get 45 for each one of these, which is, that's not that big of a deal. And then we need to get one. Whoa, no, 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 no. We don't want to, I want to give her my rockets. There. Stop filing it here. So you need 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and then another 45, which is 57 plus 45. So that's 102 minus 64. So that's just over a stack and a half of whatever your thing's going to be. Like I said, I don't know what she's going to do, but I will help her out with that. Um, and honestly, the easiest way to do is to get down in here and fill up these two hoppers and then just kind of push the items through until they start coming out the top. But yeah, I think I've been playing Minecraft for a couple hours now and I'm kind of um, getting a little tired. And I think, oh, nope, don't want to do that. I think I am about done and I think I am about done with this episode so like I said I will do the other side off camera and show I on this how this works and I think that's gonna be the end of this episode so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys next time peace out Cub Scouts